Oi, oi! It's me, Ben. We're going to be looking at BuzzFeed, everyone's favourite news source. Highly accurate and highly entertaining. The title of this BuzzFeed article is I work out like a famous model for 30 days and it was so freaking hard. Sounds very interesting. Yay! A famous model, 30 days. Freaking hard. Ooh. This famous model must have been Dorian Yates because he's making it sound like it was very difficult. So it's this gu guy. He's in pretty good shape, looking fairly lean. Not particularly muscular, if you ask me, but he's in decent shape. We'll give him that. Niall DeMarco, one of the most famous male models in the entire world. I've personally never heard of him. Doesn't mean he's not really famous. I haven't heard of him. It says he's got 1.7 million followers. That's quite a lot. I don't know if that makes him one of the most famous male models in the entire world, but it makes him pretty darn, darn famous. So we'll see what his workout routine really is like and why it's so freaking hard. So this guy is doing the workout of the fitness model. He looks in decent shape, to be honest. Decent arms. We'll go down. So this is the guy. As I said before, he's not in bad shape. But these are all model pictures, so these are going to be the best possible, probably touched up a little bit. And if you ask me, I think he's more of a, a face model because his body's not really that great. Nothing against him, but his genetics just aren't amazing. He's, he's quite blocky around the midsection and he hasn't got a particularly good shoulder to waist ratio. So he hasn't got that V taper coming down. Uh, he's not got a ton of muscle on him, but he's pretty lean, pretty underdeveloped chest. I mean, he's in decent shape, but... He's by no, me no means better than your kind of average gym goer. Maybe a little bit leaner than your average gym goes. I wouldn't have thought his workouts were that difficult, to be honest. For a regular person, this physique is quite achievable within a year of, of going to the gym. Workout one. Let's see what he's got going. Bench press, four sets. Incline dumbbell press, three sets. Incline dumbbell flies, three sets. Cable crossover, three sets again. Dips. Four sets. Close grip bench press. Four sets. Cable crunch. Three sets. Smith machine hip thrust. Three sets. So we've got quite a lot going on here already. In workout one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight exercises. All over three sets. Three to four sets. That's quite a lot of stuff to do in one session. So already I'm seeing a red flag here. This is clearly chest, but he's got bench press, incline dumbbell press, incline dumbbell flies, cable crossover, dips, and close grip bench press. So that is six exercises all related to the chest. And that is insane. To do one workout and have six exercises that target the chest is stupid, to say the least. Not very well thought out, too much pressing. If you got rid of two of those chest exercises, you'd have a much more concise, effective workout. So workout two, you've got sprint intervals at 75%. Five sets, 40 seconds, 45 seconds on, 45 seconds off. Barbell shoulder press, four sets. Alternating dumbbell shoulder press, three sets standing. Smith machine, one arm upright rope, three sets. Dumbbell lateral raise, three sets. Cable front raise, three sets. Planks, three sets, 45 seconds each. Still quite a lot going on. This seems a little bit better because it's, it's more varied. You're hitting more things and from different angles. The sprints I like. As a good way to start off a workout, sprints can be quite good, quite fun, and more athletic and functional, which is uh, good to see really in a, a fitness model workout. We've got the barbell shoulder press, four sets. Good. A nice compound workout near the start. Exactly what you want. Alternating dumbbell shoulder press. Standing. Good. Engages the core. Smith machine, one arm upright row. Whatever floats your boat. It's a bit of an unusual one. 
doing a one arm with a Smith machine, but could work and it's hitting the shoulders from a different angle, which I love. That's a good workout. I much prefer workout two to workout one. It seems more structured. It seems like there's more variation and is just a better workout, to be honest. So workout two, I can get on board with. I'll just mention that it's four workouts per week. So workout three, barbell bent over rows, four sets, dumbbell bent over rows, three sets, seated cable row, three sets, barbell shrugs, three set, four sets, sorry. This is already another long ass workout. Barbell curl, three sets. Barbell, easy bell, preacher curl, easy bar, preacher curl, three sets. Reverse grip, barbell curl, three sets. Barbell wrist curl, three sets. Planks again. I can already see that this guy is going crazy for abs. It's such a classic and it's such a big rookie mistake. This, I'm not a big fan of this either. Barbell bent over row. Good big compound movement. Dumbbell bent over row. Already I'm like, just, you're using two very similar exercises back to back. Normally after you do your main compound, your focus exercise I like to call it, you want to kind of move away and work different angles and stuff. So you've got barbell bent over rows, then dumbbell bent over rows, then seated cable rows. Where's the lat pull downs? Where's the different angles, the pull up? Something to hit the back so you're not just working in a horizontal range of motion. Again, not very well thought out. Workout four, we'll move on swiftly on. Sprint intervals again. 75%, five sets, 45 seconds on, 45 seconds off. Barbell squat, deadlift, walking lunge, leg curls, hamstring curls, Russian twists, oblique crunch. I mean, I, he, he must mean leg extensions rather than leg curls, but whatever. Because that would essentially be the same as a hamstring curl. So he's got the sprints. Again, I like this. It's a good way of uh, introducing someone to a workout, doing sprints, a bit more fun, a bit more functional. We like that. Barbell squats. Thank God he's got barbell squats in his workout. Everyone needs barbell squats. It's the king of the exercises. It's a good exercise. He's then got deadlifts. As I understand that people want to put squats and deadlifts together, but if you want to get the full benefit of them, they need to be the main focus of your workout, and it's just so much better to separate them on different days. I think when you've got two key exercises that work the major groups of your major muscle groups of your body, you don't want to just smush them together. You want them to be their own separate things. So I'm not a big fan of people putting barbell squats and deadlifts in the same exercise session, unless you're focusing on say a powerlifting meet or whatever, and uh, that can be a better way to go. These are all good at leg exercises and a lot of people will have these in their leg workouts. I'm completely fine with that. To sum up all of those workouts together, we've got abs in every single workout and it's such a mistake why are you just tagging on an ab workout at the end of no an ab exercise at the end of every single workout you need to give your abs time to rest abs are made in the kitchen most importantly the ab exercises is just like any other exercises so it's not a horrendous workout it's quite a lot of volume. You're doing quite a lot each session. Probably a little bit too much in some cases. The nutrition's probably what probably what made the results and he's probably cleaned up his diet quite a bit. Vegetables, green stuff, chicken, very lean, a apples or snacks, whatever. This is standard stuff. Clean your diet up and you'll get results. Amazing. Absolute magic. So before picks, he's in shape, he's pretty lean. He's actually got quite an unusual physique here. He seems to store a lot of his fat in the lower abdomen area. And he's actually quite lean everywhere else. You can see arm veins, you can see definition in the upper abs, which is a little bit strange actually. And he's got quite a lot of storage around the hips and the waist. Uh, but he's in decent shape. We're given that, so he clearly does work out somewhat. So this is supposed to be the participant working out with the model 
And if you ask me, they look pretty similar body types. This guy's not packing on a lot more muscle. He's not crazy lean, a fairly well-rounded approach. He kind of works every muscle group, not particularly in the best way, but he, he does the job. He does the job. This is torture, but at least it's fun torture. I mean, people exaggerate so much going, going to the gym and I'm working out and I'm exhausted. This is torture. You've got to kind of like pushing yourself to work out. If you don't like pushing yourself and building up, working up a sweat, then you're never really going to get in good shape because you have to kind of like it and appreciate it. It's not actual torture where it's kind of like the Dorian Yates blood and glut, blood and glut, blood and gut style training where they absolutely push you to absolute failure because I doubt that's what's going on in this case. So here's the results. Final progression. So I can already see they've done the classic tricks of the trade here. You look at the first before picture, you're like, okay. You look at the after picture, suddenly the lights, the heavens have unleashed and there's some kind of amazing downlighting on him, which obviously wasn't in the before picture. He's smiling, he's standing up straight, straighter, he's not slumped over. So immediately he's gonna look better, even if he didn't do anything. He does look like he's lost a bit of weight. You can see around the midsection, he's got a bit more definition. He's lost some of the uh, the bulge, as they to say. Uh, he's not looking crazy different above the belly button area. I mean, maybe a tiny bit leaner, but that's the lighting. The lighting really does make you look leaner, so. At the end of the day, it's, it's more the diet that's probably done done anything in this case. And the results are okay. For 30 days, you're not going to get night and day difference unless you are doing some kind of competition prep. And yeah, it's all a bit dodgy. It's making you think like it's done more than it actually has. Anyway, I've been your boy Ben. Easy money all day, every day. See you in the next one. It's been an absolute pleasure. Goodbye.